We are going to talk about three improvements to light contouring. The first is start and end position type, which affects how the tool is positioned at the beginning and end of the feature. The next is the transition clearance, which helps avoid fully enveloping the tool when alternating the contouring passes. We will also talk about shifting the control edge of a grooving tool for contouring operations for better accuracy and precision. Let's look at a part. Two chains have already been created. Front OD contouring and front OD groove with three operations. Let's focus on the groove finishing contouring operation. First, we need to hide the solid body from view. Let's zoom in to the tool. Notice how the tool is horizontal from the starting point of the feature. If we go to the Strategy tab, we can change the Start Position Type to Normal. We can see the touch point of the tool is along the feature start point. Now, let's change it to Blend. We can see how the behavior changed. Let's change it back to Horizontal. Look at the contour page. Change the machining area to alternate so that both horizontal and vertical passes are created. We change the transition angle to 90 degrees to recognize the vertical wall. Let's simulate the result of this operation. As you can see, on the horizontal pass, the tool is going to be fully enveloped against the wall, which could be bad for the cutter. Let's go back to the operation. We can add a transition clearance as one millimeter, which will break up the tool path. Let's simulate again. Now the tool retracts just before reaching the wall to avoid full enveloping of the cutter. Let's see the operation one more time. This time, let's set the control edge shift to yes. Within this groove, this is highly critical. This ensures we have precise length compensation output along the horizontal movement of the tool.